strip club story. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, it's my 30th birthday, and uh, I just found, uh, I, I was trying Xanax. I mean, I, it was like $2 a pill. My guy had them. I tried them. I was not a fan. Anyways, I was trying Xanax, and so I, it was my 30th birthday. I planned a, a party at the VIP of this club. Um, which had like five uh, five people, five of my invites showed up. Didn't phase me any, still had a good time. Uh, then we finished our, uh, finished our night. I grabbed some uh, smoked chicken from an outside vendor. And uh, then me and my buddy decided to go to the strip club. We uh, get to our favorite strip club where they know us at. And we get inside. And uh, my other buddy uh, sees me. Or we see him. And he's like, what are, you, what are you doing here, man? I was like, it's my 30th birthday. birthday. I am the one, the way your son don't So I'll sit down. I'm going to get you a lap here. It's like, all right, man, cool. Remember, I'm drunk. I'm on Xanax. Uh, I'm definitely feeling some that way. I'm not driving. My buddy's driving me around. He's watching out for me, or so he said he's watching out for me. Nice. Uh, so I start to get this lap dance by two strippers, these two Mexican ladies. One speaks fluent English, and one does not understand anything. And then uh, during my during my dance, I start sweating profusely. We're talking about like we're talking about like rain is coming off me. The poor ladies noticed and you know, they're like, are you okay? Are you alright? It's like, yeah, I'm just getting hot. And these ladies grab some ice out of the bucket and they start rubbing my head with this ice. Oh my god! Wow! How nice is that? Like, how would you want to truck touch a, a fat guy that's sweating? Like, and they touched my head with this cool water. But I decided like I was just like okay this isn't working out so I stood up and I told everybody I was going to the bathroom I was going to the bathroom but I was I knew that the coke guy hung out by the bathroom I had done coke every once in a while and but I knew coke kind of gets you out of whatever bogged down situation you might be in and I was in a drunk almost half asleep super sweaty just stuff was going bad. I get to the bathroom and the coat guy is not there. I stood there for a second. He's not around, which might have been a bonus. That might have been somebody looking out for me in a blessing in disguise. So then I get in line for the bathroom. I uh, get to my chance to pick out a, a few, few something. I'm waiting for a stall because I know that I'm going to try to go into that bathroom and puke and get whatever demons out of my body that I need to get out. So I'm, I'm waiting for a stall. Finally, uh, a couple stalls free up. Well, actually, you know, the, uh, the stall frees up, but it's the one stall in the bathroom where there's a big hole in the top of the door. You can see in there. You can see everything that's going on. And I just knew that I don't know what's going to happen when I get behind that door. So I don't want people seeing me throwing up, passing out, trying to just regain my composure. I didn't want to be watched doing that. So uh, then I wait for a stall with the door that's closed off completely. I get that stall. I go in and uh, I tried to puke. Puking wasn't happening. Uh, I, I probably peed or tried to pee. Uh, but I ended up just passed out on the bathroom, on the toilet. Somehow, some way, I'm not, I'm not for sure, but I'm, I'm passed out. I uh, get, I get awoken. Uh, who knows? I mean, that's three, maybe four hours later. I mean, the club was about to close, and we got there a little bit after two. So, and it's my friend, and he's, he's waking me up. Katie, get up! <laughs> and I'm like, dude. He's like, what's, what happened? What's going on? I'm like, I have no idea, man. But we're in the bathroom stall with the hole in the door that I specifically did not want to get go into. So maybe someone picked me up. And I'm like 300 pounds back then, man. So, like, did, uh, did Andre the Giant? And I'm 6'3". I'm 6'3", 200 pounds. Here we go. Andre the Giant, 300 pounds. Did I get picked up and moved? 
did I stumble out of there? And someone's like, come on, man, you gotta go. I don't, I don't know what happened. And when he woke me up, the motherfucker didn't take a picture either. I told him, and like, I was like, my first thing was like, did you get a picture? He said, no. I was like, why wouldn't you take a picture? Like, I'm Chris Farley on the fucking toilet, and you don't get a picture of me? Like, that's, that's gotta be a funny fat guy moment. Like, Granted, the cell phone pictures weren't like a huge thing yet, but we still had a flip phone with a camera on it. It would have been something. Uh, so then the, we, we we continued on the night, and I think he took me home, and it probably had passed out someplace else. I don't know, but that's that's my Chris Farley story. Mm-hmm.